So I'm here at another travel nurse rental property. I wanted to show you what all goes inside of one of these things. And you can see this is just a regular neighborhood. It's just townhouses, but is that okay, Clarence? I didn't want to blow it, blow it up. Yep. All right. But you can still get a ton of rent if you do travel nurses. So let's see what's inside of this one. All right, class, let's take a look inside. I'm your boy Haskins with the realestateroundup.com. You know my mission to raise your financial literacy, but today we're gonna to be hanging out with my boy Clarence. What up, homie? What's going on, Roundup? This is Norfolk CPA. How's everybody going out there? Good to see you, my What's friend. What's going Good on, Chris? How are you? Man, it's a beautiful day, brother. It's a beautiful day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I wanna welcome everyone. This place we call Purple Delight. So as you can see, we have a lot of purple accents throughout. So, so hence purple delight. Now, the, what is your acquisition strategy on this one, Clarence? We were talking earlier briefly. Oh yeah, so how we acquired this one, we actually utilized a lease option strategy. So I know all everybody in the Roundup world, we believe in creative financing. You can acquire properties and you don't have to always do it by getting a traditional mortgage. No. So in this strategy, we utilize the lease option strategy. So I went to the seller or the, the tenant holder, the, and what I said, I said, hey, Mr. Landlord, I will give you a large down payment up front and I want to rent your property with the option to buy it in three years and that's exactly what we did he said yep let's go for it and I he knows it. exactly what our model is I love it. Uh, he actually likes me as a tenant because he doesn't have to do any work i handle all of the repairs the maintenance i am the easiest tenant any landlord would ever have so perfect lease option tenant yes lease option tenant so your payment outgo, so people understand, your outgo is what? And then we'll talk about your income. My outgoing is I pay a little under $1,400 a month. Mm -hmm. And These so that's what I have to pay. And then okay. you got to add a few hundred dollars for your utilities. So, and we also have Wi-Fi. And, and throughout this property, you know, we got the different TV. So you mm -hmm. figure $1,400, another $300 for your, uti your utilities and Wi-Fi. And then anything above that is pretty much mine to keep. Oh, with the exception of I do have to pay my cleaning crew and I have to pay my maintenance crew. Gotcha. But typically when I do any of these type of deals myself, my numbers, I usually won't do a deal if I can't make after all expenses, including my cleaners and my maintenance team. I like to put at least a thousand dollars into my pocket per month. Now, what is a travel nurse for the homies? But round up homies that don't have any idea, like like it was me. Yeah. What's a travel nurse? Traveling nurses, traveling professionals. So it's essentially a nurse who is on a temporary assignment in a location outside of their home district. So, you know, they may be coming in to work at the local hospital, whether it's in Virginia Beach, Hampton, Norfolk, and they may be here for 30 days, could be 60 days, it could be 90 days or more. And so uh, a lot of times they need somewhere to stay. And sometimes, you know, as you know, you probably don't want to stay in a hotel all the time if mm -hmm. you can get a nice house or a town home for the same, if not even lower rate. So gotcha. it just gives them a great option to be able to have a nice home feel while they're away from home. So Sweet. this is your home away from home. So what we got going on here in the kitchen? Did you have to renovate this one at all or did it come pretty much renovated? Uh, we did light renovations. I mean, we we did the, uh, of course we painted throughout, uh, changed some of the flooring upstairs, but it wasn't, it wasn't in too, this one wasn't in too bad of a shape. Okay. So if we get an opportunity to see another townhouse that we have in Virginia Beach, we That's had to do bad. a real, we okay. had to do a real gut rehab on that one. So this is like a standard kitchen. I'm presuming you have all the utilities in here, the utensils on me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we got the blender. Always make sure you got your coffee, coffee maker. A lot of folks like coffee. So we yeah, have the do. blender. Uh, typically, in a lot of properties, we also like to have a Brita water filter. Okay. Uh, let me see, do we have that one in here? Doesn't look like we have that one in here. So that's something that we will go to the store and go pick up. Gotcha. You know, so you have nice water. And here you just got pretty much staging. All this is your stuff? Yes, sir. 
table. Yes, sir. Love seat, couch, coffee table, chair, and you're done. TV. Well, that TV is a little smaller than the one that's in mine. Yeah. So we got a 24 inch TV, but that's just a supplementary TV. Oh, so if you look TV here, okay. we got the. All right. I believe this is a 55 inch. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Let's take a look upstairs. All right. I'm going to just run this one. Anything else you want to round up homies to know while we're walking upstairs? Uh, Travel nursing. This is crazy. Yeah. And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and don't feel that you also have to be specifically limited to a travel nurse. It can be any type of traveling professionals. For example, uh, I have a property in Hampton where we have traveling solar panel contractors. What? And they actually are repeat clients. They, they stayed at a Chesapeake location of mine for about two months and now they book for another month in Hampton. Sweet. Yeah. Let me yeah, cut man. some lights on in here. So double bed, you have two people? I mean, we have two different, two strangers in here? Yeah, so actually, so we got, this is a full over full. And believe it or not, I mentioned it, I may have mentioned it before, but when you got a full bed, you actually can put two people on a full bed. So technically, you could actually have four people on this. Mm -hmm. We have a futon right here, so this can be set up as another sleeping station. So technically, Bang. you could put five people in here. So Sleeping station. Yeah, so if, like that. you know, if... That. If you got a professional that has a lot of kids, this room is great for the kids. I'm going to use that with my kids. Sleeping yeah. <laughs> station. Get you the sleeping stations. <laughs> oh, I'm going to follow you on my bed. Yeah. So, Jack and Jill bathroom. Jack and Jill bathroom. So this, this house is a two bedroom, one and a half bath. So do you want to share what ballpark this brings in gross or would you want to, you, you don't talk about the growth you want to just make sure they understand the net I would say understand your net but but just based on my numbers um, for the two bedroom let's say in the generally speaking for average rental what, maybe, at the most? maybe grossing about three thousand dollars a month I'm talking about let's just compare that to an average conventional rental oh so the two the average rental in here maybe fourteen hundred dollars that's high though I'm twelve sure. to fourteen hundred bucks yeah. mm -hmm. we keep going yep and then so travel nurse to, or short-term rental travel looking at three grand so you didn't make sure you get all your yeah. expenses. and the reason covered. and the reason why they're going to pay more is no different than hey i can go to harris teeter and get a steak or I can go to Ruth Chris where it's already prepared. Mm -hmm. This is already prepared. So all the furniture is already in here. All the utilities is already in here. So it's convenience. And so folks will pay for convenience. And that's why we're able to charge a premium amount above what the normal market rate of a long-term tenant would typically charge. Yeah, I hear that clearance is the Ruth Chris of real estate runner. <laughs> <laughs> wow, for that. You the Ruth Chris dog. Oh. I'm just out here trying to make it, sir. What we got here? Lock on the door here? Uh, this is our supply closet. So in each of our properties, we typically have one or two supply closets that will have, you know, supplies for our cleaning crew, our maintenance crew to access. Sharp, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Okay. Final thoughts, and then we'll get you up out of here. Brother Clarence. Well, so if you're considering investing in the real estate, one strategy may be to invest in getting your own travel nurse fully furnished accommodation and yeah. i know chris you're coming up with a course and i'm going to collaborate on it so oh, it's, it's going to be fantastic roundup That's family be something right there bro yes sir be worth it all right roundup so listen the travel nurse training course i like the way that sounds yes sir that's really cool the travel coming nurse. soon yeah that's cool so roundup make oop. Sorry about that. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. And we'll put a link in the video description where you can actually join our email list so you won't miss the travel nurse training course. Clarence is the man. I have no idea how these things work. I am here learning. I'm, I'm being a good follower. Okay. So subscribe, like the content, share with anybody else that needs to get their place rented. If they haven't, they're struggling to get it rented like a lot of us are. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. All right.